questions you want to ask me while I'm in an asking mood? <laughs> You're in an asking mood or a telling mood? Asking mood. What was your first, when did you first start playing guitar? I'm nine and a half years old. And why did you start playing guitar? Because Hank Williams and Buddy Holly did. That's a good enough answer. <laughs> and uh, how did you... Want long -winded? No, no, that's cool. Long-winded ain't my thing. Why did you end up playing the bass then? Because someone needed a bass player when I was 15 years old and I said, yeah, I can do it. Having never done it. You just faked your way through it? You no, know, it was rather easy. Yeah? Uh, but, you know, I had no choice in the matter since the gig was at night. Was it a rock band? Yep. Do you like rock music? I do like rock music. I like all kinds of music, as long as it's good. All right. But the first song I ever played on bass was Hanky Panky by Tommy James and the Shine Doves. My Baby Does It. I love that song. And I, had, and I had to sing lead. Really? Yep. I was the only one who knew all the words. There are a lot of tough words in that song. <laughs> My baby does a hanky panky. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so your first band was? I don't remember the name. Oh, oh. my first band was yeah. when I was 13 called Weegins. The Weegins. Yeah. Named after the sheep. <laughs> bass Weegins? No, Lord, no. No? They were called Bass Weegins in Seuss, no? No, I never heard of Bass Weegins. No? All when right. We talked bass around my neighbor, neck of the woods, it was about fish. fish. So you have a secret shoe fetish? No. <laughs> do you fish? Nope. I just like to go fishing and take a case of beer. So it's just about the process, not about actually catching anything. No, it's about drinking the beer and whatever happens, happens. happens. If All right. you catch a fish, well, somebody's got fish for dinner. Nice and, okay. nice and cool. So Hydra, what about Hydra? How'd you get into them? Um, around uh, 1971, they were in the process of getting rid of a bass player and needed a bass player, and I was in the process of leaving the group that I'd been with. And uh, we had all known each other for years, and uh, they asked me to play, and I said yes. You saw her? We spent five years playing together. And this was in New York? No, no? Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, okay. I came to New York in 1976. All right. And Hydra, somebody told me there was something about an album cover that was banned, a yep. Hydra album cover? Yep. Is that true? What did you put, Butcher Babies on? No, we, uh, the company called Hypnosis, who did album covers for Led Zeppelin, uh, did our covers, and the first one they did was with a woman with snakes coming out of her neck, and because there was a little bit of cleavage showing, they uh, didn't like that, so we had to switch it around, and then the second album cover was Land of Money, and uh, it was a picture of a cop blowing his nose on a hundred dollar bill. Mm. So they had to change it to because you weren't allowed to use actual money for things like mm -hmm. that, which we had no idea. Still don't. So was Hydra a troublemaking band? No, we were just a damn great band. Did you tour with Hydra? I mean, I'm sorry, I don't years. know. Yeah? For years. We toured everywhere we could, and you can think of it. And that was one of your favorite bands to play? Nope, it is my favorite band. It is your favorite band. Everything else was just a little bit of Kool-Aid. I mean, that was uh, the line I had. Cool. Okay, so this one was good. What made this one better than the other one? Because we were damn fine musicians. And so it was the people you were playing with? And the way it just all came together? The people I was playing with, the way it all came together, because it was a real band. As opposed to a fake band? Well, as opposed to being a hired gun. Which you were with Rex. Exactly. And that whole band was like the monkeys? <laughs> yeah, it was like yeah. the zoo for sure. <laughs> well, Rex was on contract and the rest of us, the four of us, we were just basically hired and put on salary to back him up. Back him up. Mm -hmm. And then when I joined Stars, I uh, 
took Peter's place and uh, signed a contract and took over Peter's debt. But according to some people, I was just a hired gun. And do no you... names mentioned, Rich. <laughs> now, when we go to Rex, your favorite song was? Do you have a song that you liked that you played with Rex or no? My favorite song with Rex was Burn Your Bridges because that was the one song that I refused to let the producer change anything that I did. I was talking to Mike and he said he thought it wasn't totally produced as well as it could have been and that the third album was closer to what you wanted. The third album was closer to what we were wanting because it was more of a sound that we were developing where with the first two albums we had an idiot producer named Eddie Leonetti and I, Eddie, wherever you are, fuck you. <laughs> and uh, he, uh, he was a moron. Mm -hmm. And he treated us all like we'd never been in the studio before and uh, that was part of the downfall with him as far as I was concerned because I had already been in the studio doing a lot of work since 1966-67. And, uh, you know, I worked uh, in the studios where the Allman Brothers recorded, so I had worked with quite a few knowledgeable people. That's one of my, that's my favorite song actually from both those albums is Burn Your Bridges. What's I your favorite Hydra song? It's hard to say, there's so many. We, uh, jeez, Care to Survive, I liked. Mm -hmm. uh, feel a Pain, Get Back to the City. Uh, there's so many songs that we did that were just so much fun to play. Are you still in touch with the guys from Hollywood? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We've been in touch and stayed in touch for years. Any chance you play again? Uh, we've talked about the possibility of it before we all die. You know? <laughs> if it happens, it'll happen. If not, you know, we're still brothers in heart. And you feel that way with the guys in Hydra more so than any other band? Absolutely. Then. Because we live through a lot more headaches and heartaches than any other bands that I work with. Oh, with Rex and with Stars both, they had a lot of money and a lot of stuff put on the table for them and a, you know a lot of stuff we hired was a band that worked from scratch and clawed and fought our way uh, to get to wherever it was we got. Mm -hmm. and any plans to put Hydra out on CD do you know? Well they did a live album uh, a couple of two or three years ago uh, that uh, they called me about coming down but I was already in the, under contract to do a bunch of gigs and and uh, the time just wasn't right, but they had a young fella who played bass that was someone that actually sat down and tried to tender a lot of my bass parts, mm -hmm. and a kid named Tommy Vickery, an excellent bass player, someone who was a friend of mine when I lived in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. If anybody was going to be carrying, the, carrying on for me, I, I, he's a good choice. No